Good morning from Porto, Portugal. It is our first time here and I'm pretty excited. We have the full day to explore the city and see what it's all about. But first we're gonna start off with some breakfast because we're pretty hungry mm -hmm. and we need to wait for some special guests to arrive. Oh yeah. Yeah? So in Europe, you gotta do it like the Europeans. So we are just outside a little cafe where we're gonna have, apparently, according to the internet, the best pancake in all of Porto. So I'm very excited about that and I'm hungry. I think we ordered too much food, but we're hungry. Okay, so I got a bacon and egg bagel. David got a smoked salmon on toast with egg. But this place, as you said, is known for its pancakes. So we got a two stack pancake with chocolate, gelato, maple syrup, Bananas, granola, it smells so good. They're perfect. Best pancake you ever had? Mm -hmm. So, so I get stuff in my teeth. You can build the pancake as you want it, but the dough of the pancake itself is actually like the most perfect pancake dough I've ever had. Well, breakfast, a solid 11 out of 10, let's be that honest. That was the perfect breakfast for this morning too, because we needed some protein, got my little sweet toothpicks, <laughs> had amazing coffee. But now we got to <sighs> burn all those pancake calories, so <laughs> to the next spot. Can I ask you a question? Is there a time of the day where there's less people? After lunch. After lunch? 2.30, 3 o'clock, less people. Okay, thank you so much. So Porto has the library Lelo, which is one of the most famous library in the entire world but the lines are insane to go in there so we're gonna come back later apparently afternoon is a better time so beside me all the way up there is the clerical tower 225 steps so you can apparently go up and have an amazing view of portal so we're gonna see if we can actually go up thank you so much So you pay eight euro to go up the, the tower per person and we're trying to go up but you have to go to a museum first apparently. Go up, down, up, down, up, down to hopefully finally go up the tower. When you meet people in the staircase, it's a, it's a little awkward. Come to Europe, they say it's fun. Can't move anywhere. There's too many people. Tourists. <laughs> Which is us. <laughs> Which is us. Time to go back down. If you were claustrophobic, I wouldn't suggest it. So the tower, really cool to see the views, but they have to somehow regulate the amount of people that can be up there. Because like, to be honest, it's almost dangerous. Like if somebody fall or something happened, you cannot leave. But worth eight euros for the views, right? Beautiful. It is beautiful. I have to show you, I'll put, we'll put the picture, I'll give it to you. It gets me flashback to Ireland, we went up a clock tower mm -hmm. and it was just like one person ah, all the way up. And beautiful. I have a photo I found the other day, so we'll pop that on the screen. <laughs> beautiful Europe. Now, time to eat again? Sure. Maybe. We came outside and we saw this beautiful looking little shop with everyone outside of it. 
So again, we had to try it out. Um, we have a glass of Porto, which is the first glass of Porto that we've had coming to Portugal. And this. So this is a codfish cake with cheese filling. And it seems to be like the signature thing here. It's called a Portugal experience. Let's have our first Portugal experience. Our first sip. It smells good. It's, it does smell thicker and sweeter. Okay, I like it. But it's one of those things too. I'm like I probably wouldn't even drink the full glass myself. Like I'm glad we're sharing one. Yeah, because it's like it's sugar. It's yeah, like, strong in flavor. Okay, now. <coughs> Excuse me. The pièce de résistance. That was good, and I didn't even hit, hit the cheese. Yeah, I see that. That was good. Really, really good. <laughs> and he like takes so much time crafting it. Porto, no, sorry, Portugal. You've been here, Mug? Secure. That's Tracy's souvenir. In every new country that we go, she get a Starbucks. If they have Starbucks. Mug. And if they don't have Starbucks, then I just get a mug from the A mug. normal mug. A yeah. mug mug. Yeah. Tracy walked in front of a candy store. She stopped talking and just went in directly. Look how huge that gummy bear is. It's a big gummy bear. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a sardine store that looks like a circus. Like the branding is incredible. So we just arrived at the Sendo Porto Church, one of the most famous church here in the city of Porto. But apart from the church, which is stunning, the true highlight is this guy playing music. The acoustic in this uh, place is unbelievable and he's so talented. And also, beautiful view of the uh, old town. Tracy, what do you think? It's absolutely stunning. I can just sit right here with a cup of coffee for like yeah. an hour and just chill. Listen, that guy. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. Okay, so we're about 20 minute walk uh, back to our Airbnb, which we're gonna show you real quick, but it's time for us to go pick up our special guests. They've arrived. They're <laughs> sleeping a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, they, they come from far. <laughs> I always stop more than Tracy for filming different things, but then she always carries on at some point turns around and realizes that I'm not there anymore. One thing I really have to give to Europe is how beautiful the architecture is everywhere. And it's just sad to see, I understand why they don't do it, but it's sad to see that no one else in the world is building buildings like this anymore. Probably because it's very long and very expensive, but stunning. Yeah. Let's get coffee for everyone first. I feel like that's gonna really help. Otherwise they're gonna be like, like this baby. Our special guest arrived. It's it's my stepdad and mom, all the way from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to the Lelo Bookshop. It opened back in 1906, and it is believed that this was one of the inspiration of J.K. Rowling's for Harry Potter. The library, very touristic spot, but like it is known as the best library in the world and it is beautiful. Tracy bought a little Peter Pan book as well. So for lunch, we are gonna sit outside at Sabores and hopefully eat something very Portuguese. Cheers! So we're not used to vacation. Yes. 
Portugal. Yes, you guys. Oh my God. You slapped my arm. Okay, so what we have is a Francesina, something like that, <laughs> <laughs> and a sandwich and some chorizo. So we've already kind of tested the sauce on this, and it seems very good. So now I'm excited to taste the sandwich as a whole. So the Francesina is a typical Portuguese dish. It's kind of a sandwich with meat inside, cheese over top, and a bunch of beer sauce. It's it looks rich. Be good. That is really good. That's very really good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Well, that was a very nice lunch with my parents. The food was delicious, like was authentic so Portuguese food. Yeah. I loved everything. Yeah. But it's a bit so rich. I'm glad I don't eat like that every day. <laughs> Cuz I'd be Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that sandwich was really good to share. Like I couldn't eat a full one to myself, but like it was really good. So we left my parents down there and now we are going to a bakery where we saw a crazy line this morning because they make that one specialty Portuguese dessert. Pick up for four people. So the dessert in question is called Pastel de Nata and this bakery there, they only make that. That's all they are known for it. The lineup this morning was insane. So I have, you know, high expectations. We got the Pastel de Nata. There's pastiche. two in it. Oh, pastiche. 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 pastiche de Nata. Pastel. Pastel. Yes. yes. <laughs> Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's like, a, like a little cinnamon in there or oh, something. Wow. Have a bite. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. So this is the bridge Louis One. It is the most famous bridge here in Porto. Um, and basically like this is one of the most famous photo that if you Google Porto, that, that's what you're gonna see. To get this epic view of the bridge, you just have to go to like the Sedo Porto church and there's like stairs at the end that goes down. Just follow the stairs and then you're gonna be able to climb on a rock and see the epic view of the Louis One bridge. So after walking around Porto for a few hours, we are now at one of the marina close to uh, one of the bridges. There's six massive bridges. But anyway, we're gonna go on a little river cruise to see Porto from a different angle. So it's funny, we're all giving Tracy a hard time because she was like, you know, I book a, a sunset cruise for everyone and we're just like by the river looking at all those massive boats. But the cruise that we're going on is not quite the same boat. You'll see, but it's gonna be fine. The reviews are great, right? It's coming We just met the captain, he's super nice, so all the best. You ready to see uh, the cruise boat? It's this one. It's cute, it's cute. Finally found where I belong, a place I've wanted all along. And this is only just the start. Mm. Can you see the sunlight come? Last one. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I can't say no to that. <laughs> Tracy's being fed all the pastry and she keeps saying yes. They're so good. I they are, are very good. 
that is so weird in front of us basically like there's a bunch of very like old houses and basically the Portuguese government doesn't let people renovate those houses from the outside they need to keep it as authentic as possible so people make you know very crazy houses in the back but the outside is still very old looking but these guys decided to basically build a modern house on top of a very old house so I guess you know they followed the rule technically here's a fun fact the bridge there kind of look like the same kind of architecture as the Eiffel Tower in France and well it was built by the same art then Thank you so much, have a good night, thank you. Well, Tracy, we all laughed at you when we saw the size of the boat, but it was a good time. That's what you I told sure her. did. I loved it. You, but we want to apologize. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. The, the crew, like the owner of the company, like such a nice guy and his wife too. So yeah, I would recommend. What was the company? Uh, the company was Boating. Boating Porto. Yeah. There you go. Okay. If you're looking for a boat ride, that, that's the boat ride. <laughs> Obrigado. So we were asking uh, to our boat driver basically where to go for supper because we didn't want to go to all those touristy spots and he suggested this place here so we'll see what it's all about. Taberna de Castepedes. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's Taberna do Saiz das Pedras. Something like that. But to be honest, it's probably either. <laughs> have authentic Portuguese food tonight, served Spanish style. So we have a whole bunch of tapas and I'm excited to try them all. We have everything from like bread with sausage in it, we have octopus, we have a bean stew. It looks great. Sorry, sorry, say that again, mom. It was very good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just so you know, it's not always us thinking that everything is so good. It is good. So we're back at our Airbnb. We're gonna give you a quick little show around because I think it's super cute and location is fabulous. Sorry, just well, fell on his butt. <laughs> okay, so come in. We have one bedroom here. We have the bathroom here with shower, which actually connects to the master. Second bedroom there. And then we come in here. Which has a washer here as well, fridge, everything you need, coffee machine, and they've even left out some um, pods for the coffee machine as well, which is fantastic, so we don't have to go buy some right away. And then over here, that you can't really see right now, but there is a small balcony there. What a beautiful view. It is with a beautiful view. Anyways, that's our spot. I love it. Well, put the link down below. I guess we, we can probably put a link down below. We'll share it with you. It's a great spot. Successful first day. First oh, impression, yeah. I would say, like beautiful city. Food is really good. Yeah. People are so far very nice. And it's I cool to think, travel with my parents. Yeah, and I think we've been in Old Town area. Again, fabulous location of this mm -hmm. Airbnb. I yeah. think we lucked out. So, yeah. Overall, great day. And yeah. tomorrow, well, stay posted for the next video because uh, change of beat. Yes. That's for sure. <laughs> first experience for us. So, it's going to be very inter interesting. So, like, subscribe. 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 And see you guys in the next one. <laughs> the next one.